so excited that today finally I get to share with you guys the outcome of this library. So first things first, the reason why you're not seeing a fully empty space before I started doing this decorating is because I've been living in this house for a year now. It was a year in February and I knew that it was going to be a library but I also went back and forth too for those of you who remember. I thought I was going to do like a library meets like dining room so it just has really taken me a long time to get to this place and I didn't want to rush the process. Uh, but in the meantime, I was still kind of buying things like those bookshelves that you see there, and those chairs, and the sofa. And in the end, I had to do a lot of like changes to kind of complete my vision because I did finally decide to forego like the whole dining room library combination and then just do a fully only library space, meaning I was going to put like seating furniture there. So those two chairs actually ended up in my office. I do have an office reveal. I absolutely love it. It gives me like Bridgerton vibes. So if you've been loving that series on Netflix, I'll link my office reveal down below. Um, so those chairs had to go and I ended up getting a new piece of furniture, which you guys will see here. So obviously this took me quite a bit of time to put together so you're gonna see me in a lot of different outfits and things as I'm working on this space and this wall space as many weeks that went by and I was trying to design how I wanted it to look I'm actually gonna talk a lot about this at the end so I'm not gonna over talk in this decorating portion but I really love how this space turned out so, so much. And I think that the shutters are really cute. It just kind of looks like it's, you know, the outside windowsill of a home and, and you're just kind of like looking into the space. I thought it really like brightened it up and opened this um, space a lot more. stand still because I don't have enough floral. I actually bought these two pieces together and I placed them like while I was in the store. I placed the flowers into this like what is this like a painter's thing or like I don't really know what this is but and I thought that I bought enough but as I was putting them into here I realized that I needed to add two more than I thought because it just needed to be filled so i need to go back to hobby lobby and pick up three more to fill in this other half but i love how this is turning out completely different from the original vision i had i had been talking about wanting to do this wall full of like quotes that were framed just like this with the white backdrop and the brown wood frame and then I just immediately changed my mind because I knew that I wasn't going to like putting up so many like different quotes and and then I came up with this idea and I thought why don't I try to make it look like you know this is a window looking out and or 
actually on the outside looking in. <laughs> now you'll see here that I finally got the remaining pieces and with Hobby Lobby I was having to wait because the sales are like one week on one week off for certain things so uh, and I was making sure that every time I went to Hobby Lobby I was only getting the stuff that was like currently on sale so finally got that part of the wall finished and then I got this chair in which I fell so in love with and you can see that it's like a slip cover chair so it came in two pieces so it came in with the chair part and then the slip covers and you did have to do like all that work yourself and I just think that it's just so beautiful it's massive too like two three people could sit in this chair comfortably together now what I do want to say is that in the end I actually didn't mention this and I know I'm probably going to get some comments about it of maybe somebody saying that a lamp is missing or like a little table. Yes, I I played around with tables and tables just to have like something to work with and a lamp, but in the end I really wasn't a fan of the tables I had, so I don't know if I'll add a side table or what I'm going to do. I honestly don't even know if I'll add a lamp. Um, I do get sufficient light during the day so I don't need that but at night maybe I would need something like obviously like a lamp but I'm not sure if I'll if I'll end up doing that um, so I could just actually end up keeping the space pretty simple but I haven't been sitting in there reading um, long enough to kind of see what my experience is in terms of like am I gonna want to have a drink and reach for you know a place to put it and then find myself not having a place to put the drink I really I really don't know so I'm gonna let some time kind of occur use the space and then see how that works out anyways so I'm gonna continue to decorate and in the end I'm gonna walk you guys through everything where I got everything um, actually the majority of this is from Amazon I do have an Amazon storefront I'll link it down below and then um, in that Amazon storefront there's a part called library and if you click on that it's gonna show all the links to all the things that I got for this space um, for the library
I am so excited to share the final reveal of the library. And actually not so much final because there's one thing that's missing and I'm going to talk about that. But overall, I feel like this space was definitely ready for you guys to see it. And also, sorry if the lighting is going to go kind of up and down. It's just my camera is going to try to adjust based off of that big window right there. So anyways... You know, it just took me a really long time to get here to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I simply just could not make a decision, but I finally landed on something that I love so much and I just couldn't be more thrilled for how it kind of turned out. Um, I knew, you know, that I wanted a lot of green implemented in this space. I love the idea of feeling like I'm outside. I feel like it makes it fresh and airy and light and it's just so inviting and that's another thing that I really took into account when I was trying to decorate this space was what kind of experience did I want to have in here and that's essentially why the furniture is positioned the way that it is. I've tried several things. I know it's not like maybe the best to somebody that there's a couch against the window, but this really wasn't so much about a decor space, I guess you could say, but more of how did I want to read in this space? So that's what we're looking at. You know, this is my library. Should have been a formal dining room, but I just, I don't use those. So I definitely wanted to create a space that I knew I was going to use. And I have always wanted a space like this. So I'm just so excited that my dream is just right here in front of my eyes, but I want to take you guys through the decor. So it took me a long time as well to figure out what I was going to do on this wall. And at the last minute, because I was going to go with something completely different, in the last minute I came up with this. So originally I was going to do like a little writing desk and I was going to have a bunch of book quotes up on the wall and I just kind of decided like I said at the last minute that it just wasn't I guess what I wanted and I came up with this concept which I think is so cute because it's like another window that leads to the outside but it's, obviously it's not so those two shutters are from Amazon and by the way so much of this space is from Amazon that I created not only my own Amazon storefront but I also have a category within my storefront that is for the library only so that you can shop that specific space. So I will link it down below. So those two white shutters are from Amazon and I knew that I wanted them to be white as well. I was very particular about all of my color selections because I knew that white was going to be my main color based off of this furniture piece here and my bookshelves. So I knew that the wood shutters had to be white and I actually looked in a lot of different stores but it was Amazon that I found them in white. Obviously I could have DIY'd them myself but I wasn't trying to really go there for this space. So and these actually came in a pack of two. And I've had these wall sconces for a while. And actually, they used to be over in this table right here. And I didn't like it there, so I just kind of put them aside. And then when I was decorating the space, I thought, you know what? There's a lot of white here, but I kind of want to break it up as well. So I added them to the each side of the shutters, and I think that it does, I'm sorry, I'm gonna move here. I think it does a really good job of uh, pulling out all the other colors that I'm using in the space too, just like wood colors and things. That once upon a time sign, I think really just kind of pulls this whole space together because this is a reading room, it's a library, and what's more classic than how you start a tale of once upon a time? And I got that from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Those candles are LED, so I can just control them very easily with a remote. And then honestly, for me, what made this whole space besides the once upon a time sign was this concept here. And I absolutely adore this. This is actually like a painter's box or like a, a carpenter's 
like I don't know what, what this is called, but as you guys saw me installing this, I did get this from Hobby Lobby. And then of course I had to add my floral to the centerpiece. You can see through all of my floral or my greenery options, I keep them really simple. There is a little bit of like pops of white on these flowers if my camera would focus. So there's not too much color going on in this space, but for me, the whites, the browns, and the greens really just makes me incredibly happy. I don't know what it is about these color combos. One of the last areas that I actually tackled was this corner over here. This was also another reason why this reveal was slowed down. It's because I couldn't decide on what to do in this corner. And I'm going to link an Instagram account below that inspired quite a bit of this space. I found her, she's absolutely fantastic. And maybe some of you even know who she is, um, but I, f I forget I like the name of her Instagram account. So I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. But really in the end, this little inspiration came from her account. I mean, obviously there, there were different things that I did myself, but just seeing how she styled things was really what kind of inspired me to do this corner here. So I decided to go with a mirror. And the reason why I did this, obviously this is a very tight space, but I thought that the mirror, even though it's not on a bigger wall, I knew that it might open up the space a little bit more. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. I because I'd done already so much decor here, I didn't want to decor again there. And obviously a mirror mirror is a is a form of decor, but what I mean is I didn't want something with like words or just you know what I mean? Like I feel like a mirror was the right alternative to this space right here. And I didn't want to leave it blank because for a minute there I, I really thought I was just gonna leave this alone. But I just felt like the library was missing something. And this little corner just turned out so well. I absolutely love this. So this piece I've had and it was in the kitchen and then I decided to move it here in the corner and it is from Hobby Lobby. And then this beautiful faux plant is from the at home store. That was another delay is that I was being, I was being very particular about what kind of, I guess, like branches and, and, you know, greenery, just the style, I guess you could say. And I finally found this one and I thought it would be absolutely perfect for this space. You know, there's not much going on, just the tops of the two branches. And I think that it's simple, yet it's just perfect. And then I decided to put this into a white wick wicker basket. Instead of doing like a traditional ceramic pot, I thought that the basket would give it some more dimension and texture. And I also made sure the basket was a little bit bigger than the plant just to also give it a little bit of character in that sense. And then you can see here, I added a little bit of green to this edge just to kind of balance and pull some green up here because without it, I just thought that it wasn't a fully complete space. And adding that little piece just really elevated it and took it to a whole different level for me. So very simple, but yet really beautiful. And you can see it looks like there's more green going on because of the reflection from the mirror. Let me tell you what is actually very hard for me to do when it comes to decorating and that's not being overly matchy matchy maybe, maybe this is i don't know i guess everyone's gonna see things differently and what i mean by that is i really wanted to go for a white rug and i was really trying to push myself outside of that everything's gotta just be you know kind of monochromatic in a way. So I really love how this space turned out because I really had to push myself outside of my box a little bit. And this rug is just absolutely beautiful. It's also from Amazon. And I think that without this, this space just wouldn't look um, as finished or polished. So I think the rug really makes quite a statement in here. And then one of the first things that went up in this library uh, if you've been following me, you know are the curtains. The curtains are also from Amazon and they are 
the most amazing curtains ever. They are a little bit pricey and they only sell like one panel to a pack. So just FYI on that uh, before you click on the link, but they're just, they're beautiful. I love how they frame the window really nice. And then you can see that I do have lights strung up. I also got those from Amazon. There's a cord that runs all the way behind it and then it's battery operated. So I am going to be including a clip of what this space looks like at night because that was another thing. I wanted to have a really cozy experience at night as well, not just during the daytime. And that Instagram account that I talked about was my complete inspiration for adding these twinkle lights. She just adds twinkle lights to her, her whole house and it's just so beautiful. And honestly, I would never have considered doing something like that until I just saw like how her whole space was decorated. So I just think that the twinkle lights makes it so charming and it also kind of makes me feel like when I'm sitting here reading at night it makes me feel like I'm kind of reading underneath the stars so I really like that so the other thing talking about matchy matchy is that you can clearly see from the camera that these two pieces are not the same color this was the couch that I ordered a long time ago like straight up when I moved into this house and I was going to um add them with these chairs that ended up in my office because I didn't like the chairs with it. And then I decided I was gonna buy the matching armchair to this piece, but it kept being out of stock. It was just constantly out of stock, and so I gave up. But I'm glad that it was out of stock because then I found this beauty. I mean, this thing is massive. It is just as big as this love seat. And this is where I'll be doing my reading. So that's why I faced it the way that I did so that I could look out the window if I wanted to, but then also kind of create a conversational space. Like if my daughter wanted to sit here with me and because these pieces are so huge and just the way that this whole space worked out, I decided to stage the furniture this way instead of opening up the space. And that was another thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of close this library off and how I did that, as you can see, was I positioned the couch right here. So it kind of creates, and you can see that by having the armchair there, it, it kind of does this trick on the eye that sort of closes this room off because if I didn't have you know a piece of furniture there and I moved it somewhere else this space would just be like flooding open and I didn't want to do that I did want to have like doors in a way or some type of like massive barn doors but because I have an arch and it's like a whole thing I decided that I wasn't going to be able to close the space off and make it its own room per se. So I decided to do this little trick of adding the, the couch this way. And I really like it. It definitely keeps this entryway having its own like little traffic pattern. So, so yeah. So, but back to the color of what I was saying, they are obviously not the same. And so I did contemplate buying another one of these big chairs and then putting it over there and honestly I might still end up doing that later down the road but how I solved for that was I took just a white blanket and then I exchanged the pillowcases out for these white ones which are from Amazon and just to kind of bring white over here to you know kind of balance that out so that was how I how I solved for that now what isn't making the space fully complete, as you can see, is that there's not a fourth bookcase. When I originally had these installed into the space, I bought three because I thought that I didn't want bookshelves from like one end to the other. So that's why at the original time, I only got three. It wasn't until later that I decided I do want wall to wall bookshelves. And then I went back and forth and thought, well, these have like the storage thing and I should have book shelves going all the way down. So I couldn't land on if I wanted to just start from scratch and get new book shelves, which I thought I was going to do from Ikea. But then I just was like, no, I don't want to do that. 
So I finally realized that there is something that I can do to create the bookshelves going from top to bottom. And it's that these doors right here, I can remove them. You can see here that when you open up this cupboard area, the storage area, they still added like a bookshelf concept there. So all I have to do is remove these doors and then I have top to bottom bookshelves for my books. So when I realized I could do that, I did decide to stay with these bookshelves and I'm going to order a fourth one. The reason why I didn't wait to do the reveal to have all the bookcases together is because it's not coming till like June and I just did not want to wait any longer and I thought, you know what, there's enough in this space for to to showcase a reveal to you guys. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna remove these doors and obviously if I wanted to, I could put them back. It could just be completely simple to do that. And, but if I want top to bottom book shelves, then I just remove the doors. And then you can see here, I kept this chair pretty simple. I just added this green blanket, which is actually from my living room. And then this pillow says just one more chapter so stinking cute and also from Amazon. I'm telling you, this whole space. And just because I don't have another bookcase, I just put this in the corner just to fill up the spot, but eventually this will probably end up going on top once I have the fourth bookcase. The other thing that I need to do is change out this lighting fixture. This has got to go, but this lighting fixture matches all of the other ones throughout the house and I haven't quite decided how I want the entire house of lighting fixtures to be so I just haven't made a decision on that yet and I'm trying not to push myself because what I'm learning the past several years is I get overly excited to want to do something right away and then it just I end up changing it you know in the long run so I'm trying to be a little bit more patient but I went ahead and decorated the top of these bookshelves and I absolutely love how it turned out. This also took me quite a bit of time and I just, I don't even know how this happened, but I just threw it together and I love how it turned out. In this corner, I have that lantern which I've had for a while. It actually used to be my kitchen island as a centerpiece. And then you can see here, I tucked it in the corner and then I added some green to make it look like it was, you know, growing from the outside, from the outside, growing from the inside out. And then I also added these to the edge just to kind of bring the green down a little bit and give it some more texture. That white piece is also from Hobby Lobby. And what I did was I set it on top of books so that I could get some height and then I had to take the library sign and add that on top of books so that you could also see it because this piece right here obviously would have blocked the library sign if I didn't put it on top of books. And that library sign is actually from Etsy. I'll link the seller down below. And this idea right here, I actually got from Hobby Lobby themselves. They actually had this staged in the store with this little coat rack or coat hook or like whatever this brown thing is with the hooks. And then they had the green flowing through it and I thought, I'm doing that. And I knew immediately that it would look really good here, especially since there are, like you can see the pops of the brown wood and it matches the trim of the library sign. So I really liked breaking up all the white and the green with the darker elements. And then I just have, Another basket here with some flowers, just to show you guys what they look like. And then I added these books to the end, just like a decorative look. It also breaks up the white as well. And I really love how this turned out. When I add the fourth bookcase, um, I might be doing two of those white ones and then kind of moving things a little bit to balance it out. And then we have the books themselves. I definitely need to do some more organization. We have a lot of stuff that I found at Dollar Tree. And then these are my romance novels that I love. And then you'll see from the nighttime shot that I have some 
string lights and here they are from Dollar Tree. Now what I have to say about this is it's not necessarily the most uh, functional thing to do because this gets in the way of trying to pull books but I've just been playing around with lighting and twinkle lights and things just kind of seeing how I feel. I'm probably going to end up moving this set of twinkle lights over to the books I don't reach for immediately and then just kind of leave this space alone or I might just remove the twinkle lights in general from this space. But like I said, I've just been playing around and trying to figure out, you know, what I like, don't like. And that is the final library reveal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below. Let me know which part was your favorite. I will link the Instagram account I talked about earlier that gave me the inspiration for the twinkle lights and then that corner section down below. But I hope that you guys got any good inspiration from this style and I will see you guys next time. Bye.